Hey guys, it's Oaks. Welcome to the channel and thank you for watching my early match preview between Manchester United and Chelsea Football Club. I'm saying early because it's before the press conference, so we don't know who is fit and who is not, who is coming back from an injury or what. So we're going to have to wait until we know a little bit more about what uh, Thomas Tuko is going to say. So, listen, I'm a very confident man. Everybody knows about it, but this game, I am not really confident at all. It doesn't mean that we're not going to win because I would never predict that Chelsea lose a game of football. We're going to win, but the reality on the field could be different. Manchester United against Charity FC. <laughs> we know Chelsea Football Club. When a team is struggling, you play against Chelsea Football Club and we completely solve your problems. We saved managers' jobs. We revived players' careers. And it's not only this season. It's been a Chelsea thing for a few seasons now. So, Maguire not doing good. Rashford not doing good. The whole team is in Shambo, this is the perfect moment to play against Chelsea Football Club and get your confidence back, get your three point easy because we are Charity FC. I'm not going to be surprised to see Rashford, you know, <laughs> taking those free kicks and scoring golasos like Prime Ronaldo. You know, he will shoot those uh, free kicks like a thousand times, all of them going to go to the moon. But against Chelsea is going at the top, at the top bin, top corner. <laughs> Harry Maguire is going to have the game of his life. Prime Maldini. And I'm punished too because every time he's going to bring some, somebody down or try to kick somebody in the nut, nobody is going to say anything because the referees, the VAR, all for them. That, uh, that uh, always against Chelsea, right? Don't be surprised if you see Wan-Bissaka just like prime Roberto Carlos putting those crosses perfectly in the box for Ronaldo to score headers. But he doesn't even know how to cross the damn ball. But against Chelsea, it's always a perfect cross. I'm not going to be surprised if I see Jadon Sancho, <laughs> a Chelsea fan, punish us one more time it's a chelsea thing and something else to keep in mind rudiger and andreas christensen they might not play a hundred percent because let's not kid ourselves right you and me if we have a big contract a new job waiting for us are you gonna risk your life to get an acl injury and then damage your future Think about it. So I'm not gonna listen to the to the narrative about listen Rudiger or Christensen are professionals. They're gonna give hundred percent on the field. BS. I'm not gonna give hundred percent for Chelsea Football Club. I'm not. I'm telling you the truth. If you are that perfect, that is for you. You can keep on lying to yourself. I'm not, bro. I'm not going to put those 50-50 challenges. No way. No way I'm going to risk my next contract because of you. I'm going to play just like a professional football player. But <laughs> not 100%. Let's go. At the back, I will go with uh, three, of course. Let's start by the, the goalkeeper. Mendy, of course. Chaloba. Thiago Silva, Malang Sa. People are going to kill me for putting even Malang Sa here, but do you have any solution, my brother? Rudiger is apparently injured. Probably another diplomatic injury. He doesn't want to risk it. This dude here, Andreas Christensen, also another diplomatic injuries. So I don't want to even put them there. If they're going to fake it, don't put them there. Just put... Some people who know that they have a, a future at Chelsea 
instead of putting people who are not going to give 100% on the field. Malang Sa, you can say whatever you want, but the guy was very good until the Arsenal game when, uh, when he had a, a bad game, but it was the entire team and the structure. Before that, everybody said, wow, we have a gem that can develop here. But it's a Chelsea thing that one game makes you a bad player and we need to sell you and you are not a Chelsea level. We forgot other 10 times. Only one time is enough for us to get rid of you. Okay. My wing backs, I will put Aspilicueta here instead of Marcos Alonso. I know Marcos Alonso had quote unquote master class against West Ham, but against West Ham C team. Let me make it clear. And we we needed 90th minute and after them getting a red card to score a goal. But yeah, Marcos Alonso. I'm afraid he won't cope with the pressure that Manchester United are going to put on us. Rhys James, if he's fit from the other side. N'Golo Kante and, and uh, Ruben in the, you know, in the pivot. Uh, I think uh, Kova still injured and Jorginho, let's face it. You put McTominay on Jorginho, you take him completely out of the game and then you kill the engine of the team because he doesn't have the pace he doesn't know how to defend probably in the second half but you can put whoever you want okay front three i will go with the main event himself kai harvard timo verna and mason mount christian pulisic you can make a case because he scored the last time but i want to see how verna is gonna you know, I want to give him some momentum. Verna been, Verna been doing good so far in the last few games. So I'm going to continue with him. Okay, let me remind you. Edouard Mendy in goal. Thiago Silva. Malang Saar. Shaloba. James. Aspi. Kante. Ruben. Mount, Harvard, and Werner. So, it's your time, my friend, to let me know. Instead of insulting, just give your opinion. This is a game of opinions, and Thomas Tuchel is not going to watch this video to make his decision. I'm just guessing based on some information that I got right now. Score prediction. I am going with my heart. My heart is Chelsea. My heart is blue. So I will say we're going to win 2-1. Jadon Sancho to score against his uh, <laughs> the team that he supported as a kid. That is a Chelsea thing. And for Chelsea Football Club, Turbo Timo is going to score a goal. And this guy here, Ruben, is going to score the second one. That's it from me. Leave your comment, my people, and let's keep the conversation going. Do you want to see Kennedy, for example, given a chance instead of Aspiliqueta from the wrong side? Do you want this guy here, this kid, how to be given a chance? That is your opinion. I will respect that. What, uh, what, what, what subs are you going to do here? Do you want to continue with Marcos Alonso? You think he's been world class and he should continue? That is your opinion. We're going to respect that. So it is what it is. Leave your comment. God bless you. Subscribe to the channel. And I will see you next time.